Greetings and welcome to Eminent Reflection. We're looking at Universe Sandbox, or rather uh, an image of Universe Sandbox, because uh, my computer isn't quite up to the task of running that and my um, capture software at the same time doing a very good job. So this image is more or less what you might expect to see in a textbook. Um, possibly arranged slightly differently, but as a depiction of what our solar system looks like. Well, obviously our solar system doesn't have those lines trailing behind the planet, uh, so we could remove those. And our solar system doesn't actually have labels on the planets either or on the sun, so we could remove those. But it's still not quite right, because the scale is all wrong. First off, the small planets are way larger than they should be compared to the large planets. And second off, all of the planets are way larger than they should be compared to the sun. And third off, all of the planets are much closer to the sun than they should be. And... Also, all of the planets are much closer to each other than they should be. Also, you don't generally see the planets in a straight line if you're actually looking at them out in space. I mean, that's just not likely to happen. Um, as a matter of fact, the odds of it could be calculated if and when it'll ever happen could actually be figured out. But, um, yeah, this is a very unlikely thing. They don't do that. They orbit around the sun. And... Uh, If we, if we actually make them to scale, it looks um, a little different. This is what happens if you run that simulation in real time. This is in real time. If you actually run the simulation with the planets as I had them in that illustration, uh, they, the, the sun is basically vaporizing them. So let's move on to an actual uh, two-scale version. This is the not-to-scale um, and this is the two scale version. Again, we've got the lines, they don't need to be there. And we've got the labels, they don't need to be there. But what do you have left? It looks empty, doesn't it? Well, it's actually not empty. If we put the labels back and start zooming in on it, um, I'm zooming in on the planet Uranus, and as you can see, all of the other planets zoomed right off the screen. And now it looks like it's doing nothing, but it actually is doing something. It's zooming in. Um, that just restarted itself. Let's go ahead and, and look at it from there, zooming in. So here we go. Zooming in on Uranus, and there come the labels for its various moons. But you don't see those either, because they're too small. Now, that's not to say that they wouldn't be too small to see if you got close enough. Watch Uranus as we get close enough. That's what happens. This is just how far apart things really are. That's what it really looks like out there. And, yeah, um... You need a really good telescope to see all those things. Um, also, uh, that's actually animated in real time. And you don't see any motion. That, again, is because the distances are huge. We'll cover that in another video. Thanks.